of Cream All Access as we take you behind the scenes of the next car that we're going to be working on. This is a X6M belonging to Eddie Milson Fernandez of West Ham and as you can see it's already tastefully modified with a few bits and pieces that's been done on the car already but we're going to be taking that that step further with a brand new wrap in the car. Matte silver metallic, real striking aluminium style of colour. We're going to be doing the wheels again, uh, refurbing them just to uh, get rid of the cosmetic damage as you can see and we're going to be de-chroming it getting rid of all the chrome in the car and replacing it with gloss black and as we did for CK Shaky Bentley we're going to be doing the same with this uh, by making him a custom personalised emblem to go around the car as well to represent his name his initials and his shirt number check it out Okay, so we've just had this uh, X6M come in. It's going to be having a full body wrap. Before we get underway with wrapping it, there's a few repairs to do. As you can see, there's one on the bumper there. Dave's just round the other side of the car, repairing a dent that's in actually in the bottom of the door. And there's also some wheel arch damage as well. And there's a little bit of damage that's got to be taken care of on the front. And then as soon as uh, we've got the repairs into paint, we'll be coming out and we'll be preparing the surface to take the wrap. But before we do that, we need to make sure that there's no impurities on the panel. And the way we're going to remove them is by exfoliating it, either using Trizac, which we haven't fully decided whether we're going to be trizac it or whether we're going to be clay bar on it, or maybe even both yet, we're not sure. You see, it's, it's things like that. <laughs> you know, I'm trying really hard here. But you said, get on with it, don't talk about it. But it's for the video he wants. I'm just doing, I'm, you know, I'm just helping out here, Dave. So, uh, where are you up to, Dave? Me? I'm working. <laughs> I'm doing the job, not talking about it. Just put the smoothing coat of filler over the repaired area. Just so it makes it all nice and... Uh, Flat the rhythm bar bit off and it'll be all nice and smooth. We'll just check the gap is okay. And as you can see it now lines up with the, the seal. The rubber will then go back there. And the next bit we've got to do is a little repair on the end of the fiberglass arch. You can see it's cracked so we'll put some resin in there. And reshape that and refit it. Okay, who wants to fucking see me rubbing a bit of log down on the fucking bump? Your fans? I don't have any fans. You do, you're fucking famous, you are. Just lobbing up the bump, huh? You know how it is. On Tuesday morning. Just um, waiting for these lot to finish finishing off, uh, what did he say, lobbing up the bumper and flattening it down for repair. Eating a banoffee pie for breakfast. Yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Yeah, she just has to load up what she needs to burn off. Well, nothing to burn. <laughs> Okay, so that's the last panel finished. Um, as you can see, the car's nearly finished now. So I've just been going over this just to make sure there's no impurities on there that are going to impede the uh, adhesion of the wrap. Right, are we getting on, Paul? Get in there, get in there, mate. Paul's just rubbing down all the chrome. The whole front of food. Bit fiddly, takes a long while. And you've got to try and mask all in there up. It doesn't separate, which is an headache. Everything's a headache when it comes to uh, pull. I like that. <laughs> but basically, what we're doing 
is we're gloss blacking all the chrome and in order to do that you have to really key up the chrome first otherwise the paint won't take so when I say key I mean scratch basically using sandpaper give it a fine key all over we hit it with the etch primer which allows obviously the paint to adhere to it once that's done and that'll be going in gloss black along with all the other bits of chrome like the badges and the BMW front and rear badge we're not going to be painting that in gloss black what we're going to do is smoke them so that's a light smoke and take away the, uh, the effects of chrome, you know. Mirrors and the GPS antenna cover is going to go in gloss black. We're going for paint on this. Uh, can wrap them, but just as well paint them because you get a much higher gloss finish with the uh, with paint, of course. Uh, with mirrors and things like that, it's absolutely fine to leave it once the, uh, the wrap comes off, if it ever needs to come off in the future. Mini car comes with them in gloss black from factory. So yeah, that's it. I'll let Paul carry on. We've got to get Shabs to finish off his new logo design, because just as Beku Kiyoti, Shabs has also designed a personalized emblem for Ed Wilson. Car's more or less done, gonna box it off, and uh, off to the car wash it goes. Just on this side of the bumper, uh, we've done infills in here. Uh, this part of the bumper is gloss black, so it kind of breaks the car up a little bit. A little bit of an infill in here, uh, and there's infills, but this is quite deep, it's about two, and a, two or three inches, so you're never going to get the, the throw on that. So we put infills up only where we need to, not really put them in anywhere else. So if you stretch it, it just gives and it will break and it will not last. And, you know, so we try to make, make the uh, longevity of the material as good as possible. So the rear quarter at the top. Uh, and the bonnet, the roof's going gloss black, and that's more or less done. I think we've got the seals left as well. But the majority of the car's done if you want to go and have a look. I can't be without you. Uh, yeah, and this side's all done. Still there. As you can see, it's still all in bits, but once it's ready and done, it's all finished. Yeah, not clipped in yet, then. Hold it there. Yeah, yeah, go on, it's fine. I have nightmares about what I just saw. I have bad dreams about it. Where it's only half moon. Where, where I'm fast asleep, but I'm paralysed, and he's over the top of me, and it's shaking and shit. And the, yeah, all in my face, and there's nothing I can do. I'm trapped. Do that again. Shit job story. Yeah. yeah. That's some shit jobs. This was a really shit job. I had been at work for about a year. And I thought, just bumming and fucking drinking and smoking. So I thought, I'll have to get a job. So I found a job in a taxi garage. Turned up Monday morning, made a start. All full of shit, grease, welding seals on, burning my arms. I thought this ain't no fucking good. I'm going to get out of here. So I said to the governor, I said, uh, I've got to make a phone call. He said, yeah, use the phone in the uh, office. I said, no, use the public one. I said, it's a private call. That was in the day before mobiles. So I walked around the block, come back, made me excuses. I said to him, sorry about the inconvenience, but I've got to go. He said, go where? I said, Canada. He went, when, when have you got to go there? I said, now, nah, can you sort me money out? I'm going. <laughs> it was only half past ten. <laughs> Hour and a half. <laughs> Shortest job in the world. <laughs> that was it. Because it was such a shit job. I thought, what can I tell him? I can't tell him I'm ill. <laughs> I've got to go to Canada. This other fellow I know, he had a job. And, uh... He was only young at the time. He went to use the uh, 
the toilet. Yeah. Seriously, there's no. I've got a seriously. Yeah, there's a really funny story. Got to get this door done. Yeah, but take the story out. Come on, let's put these in. Yeah, so, uh, so go on, um, Paul. No, I've got the rest. Wrapped up on it. So I'm just going to go down and trim all the excess off. I've stretched it over the edges. Give it a nice little fold overlap underneath. Hope it stop failing in the future. Then what I'll do is uh, once I've gone round, cut all the excess off. Give it another post heat, give it a final last bit of adhesion, stay on, and that's it. Yeah, it's probably one of the largest bonnets we've done. A roll of vinyl is generally around 1500 wide. This bonnet is literally just millimeters shorter than that. I had the material only hanging over about two mil up here on this end, and on that end, it was actually a few mil, mil shorter, so I had to give it a little heat. And a bit of a stretch to catch the edges but that went on really nice without any breaks in the colour or anything so that's really good. Hey guys how you doing Cash Team Development and today is the last and final day that we are working on this BMW X6. It's been uh, completely wrapped in the matte silver as you can see and we are on its final stages. We've got a few wheel arches to go on on this side and two rims and that's pretty much it. We've got the boys in the background removing all the tint that's on the car because it's uh, far too illegal, way too dark. It's limo to all round I believe and the car the left hand drive so it's been down the board at some stage somewhere. Uh, so we're removing that and going a lot lighter on the tip as well. Looking forward to seeing him come down today. Looking forward to his reaction and um, yeah, stay tuned. Going on next, tinting the windows, Cash got to wrap the petrol flat, job done. I think that's his happy face. What's the bird? You like it? Yeah, it's nice. You happy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're leaving me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? You know, man, you know. I don't need to throw the thing. Just give it a cup. Yeah, nice job. There you have it. Another Queen Development 12 well done. Exclusive. 
don't speak much English to these guys, but from what I can tell, they like it. The logo was complete, sent to uh, the printers the other day, and unfortunately the car had to go out back to Eddie Milson and we couldn't put the logos on his car. He will be returning back today and I have his parcel that's come and let's check it out. Here we have it. That's the final finished product. As you can see, we've got the black with the chrome outlined with the blue. Let me just uh, show you a close up. It's not just a sticker, it's actually a gel domed badge. Got an awesome finish on there. So yeah, it's great to see not only the car being designed by ourselves but a personalized logo for them as well. Customized logo now being applied to his wing mirrors. And as you can see, it just looks so damn good. <laughs>